All right, hey everyone, it's Nemo, and um, today we're going to talk about my DIY CO2 system. I got going on my 55 gallon fish tank, and um, I just started um, using this system, so my plants aren't doing that great. I actually had like a pretty big die off of um, you know some of these down here, but yeah, so they're kind of sparingly growing right now. But if you could see like this guy, he's got a bunch of new shoots and everything, so that's pretty good. And um, yeah, hopefully they'll start picking back up in a couple days but alright so over here is just um, the diffuser basically I got a few full 2 plus um, filter right there that's um, blasting water into the tank up here and it's making a current that pushes the bubbles back down as they go as they're trying to go up so it you know flushes them around like that and then they're moving around and everything and it just um diffuses them into the water and some of them get blown back out to the bottom here but it's just so little of them that it's not really a big problem all right and then um down here you can see my bottles my two bottles so in my big two liter bottle is the um yeast sugar mixture and then over here is the filter rough filter which down there you can see the bubbles coming up and the water just acts as a rough filter. But so um, I'm going to show you guys how I did um, the tubing, how you have to do the tubing for this because there's like a specific way. So, okay, let's go over here to paper. One second. Okay. So basically you have um, your big, you know, two liter bottle here. Let me see if I can get this to focus. Yeah, okay. Big two liter bottle here. And then, you know, your smaller bottle and your smaller bottle's cap. So those are the, those are the, the um, two caps. So basically the important part is for the yeast sugar mixture, I do um, one and one fourth cups of sugar and then just fill it up to just about where the rim starts curving on the bottle so here if you look over here the the liquid goes up to just about where the rim starts curving up and then you just stop there yeah so um the tubing this is the important part the tubing I just use regular airline tubing and you have to I use a hot glue gun for the outside and the inside of the tubing to make an airtight seal but so the tubing for um your, you know, for the one tube that goes into this bottle, it just goes down to here. It doesn't go all the way down to the bottom. Don't make it touch the liquid. See, you can see over here, I have one tube coming out of it, and it doesn't go into the liquid. So it's just like basically in the cap. So you have that in the cap, and then this tubing goes down to this bottle that actually has two holes in it, and then this bottle, the tubing goes all the way to the bottom into the pure water. So you can see, when you look at it down here, you can see it bubbling every once in a while. I don't know if you guys can see that. There's not a lot of light in my room right now. There we go. Right there, it's bubbling. Kind of hard to see, sorry about that, okay. So yeah, so it goes all the way to the bottom, and then as the bubbles go to the surface, you're, that's the CO2, the CO2 production. So it, it um, double doubles up as the CO, it's like a counter, it can try, um, it's a bubble counter, so you can see your bubbles per second, which is hard to see with like a diffuser. And then you have a second tube that's small, just like that one, a smaller tube, and this is the one that goes to your tank up here to your tank and your little diffuser that makes a bunch of little bubbles. Yeah. So that's my little drawing about the tubes. And make sure that um, the one that's going all the way down to the bottom is the one that comes from the CO2 production. And then that's basically it, I think. So yeah. And then basically just the purpose of this diffuser is to move the bubbles around and everything. You can use just a diffuser, but it's not as um, efficient and everything. And then 
that's it, yeah. And if you have any more um, questions about this, feel free to put comments and all that good stuff. But also check out, there's so many videos on YouTube about the actual mixture itself. And there's a bunch of different designs for reactors and everything. Uh, I just wanted to show you guys real quick the way I do it. And here, my little fishies. Yay. Bye-bye.